Willem van Dijk. I'm the project manager for Winter Consulting Engineers and we're obviously looking after the project in terms of time, cost and quality to make sure we complete the project within the budget to the standards required by the client. We are managing the risk and chains on site with the main contractor as well as all the subcontractors that needs to be managed as one team to make sure all stakeholders um, are happy with the work that we deliver. So we started with the project um, late last year. We were really under pressure getting all the drawings and details out ready for construction at the beginning of this year. There was a pre-qualification process run during December, January, where we qualified eight contractors. And after the tender process, it was awarded to the main contractor followed by all the drawings, information, designs, and also the tender documents for all the subcontract, the specialist subcontractors that need to be appointed in time to make sure that we complete all works, all sections of the work within the provided time. The total treatment at Doris first comes into a collection tank. Um, before that, it goes through a grid screen, which takes out all the bigger materials, such as if they are plastic bottles or big papers or anything like that, that ends up in the sewage. Then after the water goes down to the septic tank, which is located quite a bit of a distance away from the um, actual town for safety, so that we don't have any people um, basically getting near the water treatment plant. Then in the septic tank, the anaerobic process makes sure that um, the organics are mostly broken down in the water. Then after the water goes into a recycle sump, which then pumps it into the trickling filter plant, which is containerized. The trickling filter is an aerobic process, which also further breaks down the organics. Some of the water product water from the trickling filter is recycled back into the recycle sump to create breakdown and um, the rest of the water moves into a settler where the solids settle down and are recycled back into the anaerobic septic tank for further breaking down and the overflow product water goes through chlorination and is thereafter discharged to the environment um, at a standard Namibian general standard effluent which is then safe for discharge into the environment. There you have it, that is the sewage water treatment at Darwin.